the song's okay. It's nice and it's it's very contemporary. I, I do kind of feel like it's kind of Walk on Water 2.0 and it's just like and like that song last year. There, there was nothing in it that really grabbed me other than oh, it's kind of nice. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I really don't. I really struggle to say much about it. Uh, other than it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just okay. It's just there. It's it's a good opener. D- just um, yeah. I, d- I don't really have much else to say about this. So um, who wants to follow that? <laughs> well, I think I think it's miles better than Walk on Water. To be honest, oh, me too. Plus it, plus it has the added benefit of not having an ad, an angry seagull on it. <laughs> <laughs> I th- I think this is incredibly radio friendly. I think you definitely hear this in on the radio in the charts these days. It sounds like an Emily Sunday tune. Yeah. I just don't I just don't know if that if Eurovision is ready for this kind of thing yet and it was a lot is going to depend on the staging yeah like 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 you said with walk on water last year it just fell flat um on the stage yeah for for whatever reason and i'm a little bit worried that the same might happen with this but we'll have, we'll have to wait and see um by the way this is um f- funnily enough the first of three songs by this year by the same songwriting team yeah. <laughs> and they're all in the same semi final. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of people have had two songs in the contest, but nobody's had three yet. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it's the first time ever, I think. Oh, wow. Oh. So I hope for their sake that they all get through, but um, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> So I predicted that this would open semi two, but I was secretly hoping they would pick something else. This song, it just doesn't go anywhere. I don't mind listening to it, but I forget about it as soon as it's over. Nothing about this song is really catchy, nothing about this song is really memorable, and I really struggle at placing it in my ranking. This is weird because normally... I don't feel like this about songs since most of them have at least something memorable about them. But this is one of those songs that just goes into one ear and comes out of the other. It's just nice filler and it kind of lacks any kind of personality. Mm. And the thing that kind of annoys me is that she was already a backing singer before at Eurovision for a song which is my second favorite entry from Serbia. And I really hope this one won't place higher than Charovan. It doesn't deserve that, because that song was so much better than this one. Oh, yes, definitely. (sighs) Also, I think that Serbia will have, for the third year in a row, more or less only televote points from um, the blog voting and diaspora, especially if they perform in the first half of the final. Last year really highlighted this, how much they relied on friendly votes, because they were in the bottom three of almost every other country. Oh, really? Uh, Yes, and of course this means that she will very likely get the 12 points from my country's televote, since they don't have any competition this year, Bosnia doesn't take part, so they will landslide the televote regardless of what they sent. (laughs) <laughs> I really hope that they'll somehow include the circle from the music video into the performance. Although I have a feeling that it's going to be like Walk on Water, when she is just going to stand there angry at the stage, be like a wannabe diva, and just some random dancer is going to jump around her. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> no, I do. I do remember looking at the scoreboard, and it was really weird. They got about five or six twelves, and almost nothing from anybody else. Yeah, yes, I checked. I think they were only like in three or four countries that aren't basically diaspora countries or blog voting countries where they weren't in the bottom five of the televote. Ooh. And almost the same thing also happened with Beauty Never Lies. That one also flopped in a lot of the televotes 
yeah, from different countries. Well, in others, it was in the top three. <laughs> oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah. I uh, hope- they shouldn't have any problems qualifying. <laughs> they have enough friends in the semi. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. Yeah, now that you bring it up, I can probably see it like a similar outcome coming with this one. I mean, yeah, I, yeah, it's, it's like it's kind of like a struggle to see like what other country is going to have this in their top three, especially in the final. It's just as you say, it's not really got any personality, does it? Yeah, it's like the song they sent last year. <laughs> oh wow. Well. Okay, so do we have any last words about Serbia before we do the first goals of the week? Not really. <laughs> no, nope. think. Okay. But to Serbia. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give this a three. I'll give it a four. And I'll so- give it a two. Okay, and the public, they're giving us a three out of five. 